All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures, ES6, Use the REST Parameter with Function Parameters. So in order to help us create more flexible functions, ES6 introduces the REST Parameter for Function Parameters. With the REST Parameter, we can use Pardon me, we can create functions that take a variable number of arguments. These arguments are stored in an array that can be accessed later from inside the function. So let's check out this code. We've got function, how many, and then we're gonna have this three dots in args. And I'm pretty sure this is what they're talking about, the rest, uh, what is it? The rest parameter right there. And when you see these three dots also, uh, you can just come over to this spread syntax page by NDM and it'll tell you all you want to know about it. It's uh, spread syntax and rest parameter seems to be the same thing, right? So we've got this right here. And then we say return, you have passed, and then we'll say plus args.length. So however many arguments are in this uh, parameter list, and then plus arguments right here. So if we do uh, console.log how many, and we have zero, one, two, all separated by commas, it'll say, uh, it's you have passed three arguments. And if we do something like how many, like a console.log, how many, and then we have one, two, three, and four different uh, parameters, we'll, uh, it'll say, what is it? You have passed four arguments. So to reiterate, the console would display this string, you have passed three arguments, and you have passed four arguments. Okay. So the rest parameter eliminates the need to use the arguments object and allows us to use array methods on the array of parameters passed to the function how many, all right? So we're gonna modify this function sum using the rest parameter in such a way that the function sum is able to take, a, pardon me, is to take any number of arguments and return their sum, all right? So basically what we've got going on here is we've got this args down here and X, Y, Z equal already what's in here. So what we, all we gotta do first is let's get rid of this const uh, args. Let's turn this args into dot, dot, dot args like that. And so now this args targets this arg. So what, whatever amount of uh, parameters we put in here, it's gonna do args.length. So let's come down here and do console.log, console.log, and let's say uh, sum, and let's say one, two, three, four, five, like that. And you see it's 15, one plus two plus three plus four plus five. And we can even add like an empty object in there like this, and it'll do that. Let's have another, let's have an array. Let's have an array after that, like, uh, like that and you can see it just adds stuff to the end of it no big deal all right and so it's basically this added together plus this plus this all like that so let's return the pardon me let's run the test looks good and submit it all right now we're on to use the spread operator to evaluate arrays in place and we'll see you next time